Yeah, this is where a nigga grew up at, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Right here, we at Katie. Go ahead and did some little graffiti shit to it. I don't know what it's called now. Rosa Parks Middle School. Used to be Gady, but Gady was racist and the evil man, so they changed it and shit. But yeah, when we went to school, it went down, bro. Like, it was fights every day, you feel me? You niggas was claiming the dog pound and shit, you feel me? See, bo little brother Allen got his ass kicked right in front of school by me and my man of you niggas. Yeah, man, shit, shit crazy, man, you know? But this was our childhood, man, you feel me? That's when we say M's no friends, you feel me? You know, because we all grew up together in this motherfucker going to school at this particular time the hottest niggas in the world was pyro and mike you feel me a rule i was running with them niggas you feel me so you know we was knocking shit out that's where little stevie gallo got knocked out by mike at you feel me just because he wasn't from the set you feel me we beat up a bunch of old park niggas and, and it was really a war between man of you and the crips along this strip you feel me but the older we got man you feel me the more violent shit got and uh you know what I'm saying? Now, this just meta view. This is red. You feel me? But it didn't used to be like that. It used to be a crip area until we took that shit from them niggas. You feel me? This this school right here, man. You feel me? This is where our man Skrilla used to work out at every day. Chop up our plans and shit. Right there. Do they still got the little gym over there? I don't know if they do. But, yeah, man, you know. This is where we learned how to tune our cars and swing donuts and shit. You feel me? House parties and shit. All that old type of shit. You feel me? It's a real, a real, real beautiful place to grow up, man. You know? Real community. You know what I'm saying? Every community has its drawbacks, man. You feel me? But uh, this was a great hood to be from, man. To be outside in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Jaleesha Juju. She went to school with us. You feel me? She's super old park, though. But she got family in the hood. And, uh, you know, I think she had a crush on me. But that bitch was like a dude. So she was getting on niggas. One day we was at school and she heard one of the homies from Metaview with the glasses did then. And walked up to him like, you from Metaview? And got off on him, nigga, and beat the nigga ass. So after school, I guess she called her old park niggas. They catch us right here, right? But this house right here, just accidentally we was walking home and the homie broke the glass, right? He broke the glass of their house throwing rocks. But that shit saved our life because right here, right? You feel me? Juju pulled out with the old park homies, nigga. You feel me? And tried to fire on the homie. Tried to fire on Art. Thinking it was, uh, it, it, it was, it was then the, the, the nigga she fought. And it wasn't, you feel me? And when we all took position... He pulled out the pistol on us. And because we had broke that rock, that broke that window that day, nigga, the police came speeding up, nigga, grabbed that nigga right when he was finna squeeze. <laughs> yeah, die, die, man, you feel me? From Oak Park, with Jaleesha. Now, Jaleesha, you feel me? She wild, you feel me? That's Murder Gang Juju's uh, mom, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? She in jail for murder, he in jail for murder, you feel me? She one of the top shooters from Old Park. She, she, she used to fuck with our hood, just especially the 6 9 side, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Nigga named Couch and shit, you feel me? The ugly ass twins in them, you feel me? But, you feel me? She didn't fuck with real niggas, she just fuck with them suckers and shit. But, yeah, man, you know, this Kirk right here, we got into a big, big thing with the, with the Old Park nigga, shot them up. You feel me? The homie came out with the, with the sawed off 12 gauge. That was our thing back then. That 12 gauge, you hit everything. And that BMW, I don't let this bitch rip. And you know, that's crazy because nowadays you these kids drive buses. They don't, man, we've been riding clean shit since we was in like 13 going to high school. That's how you got all the girls and shit. Like, y'all don't want to ride the bus. You better ride with a nigga, you feel me? Better act right. But nowadays, niggas don't even know how to drive and shit. We couldn't catch the bus. You feel me? It was too much gangbanging. But food stop right here. 
So this nigga chuck him, this is the problem. This is how chuck him and 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 uh Lil James Flocker got into it. And when Flocker got into it with, with Chuck him, I did too. So this nigga catch the bus to the hood to go fuck with Boosie ass crime. And uh some old park niggas catch him and run him up in there. Cause you feel me? He ain't got no hang thing on him or nothing. And he nigga, he called that nigga. You feel me? And that nigga ain't got no hitters. I got the hitters. His nigga called me. And you know, James loved me like a motherfucker. So I'm like, boy, that's some old party niggas pressing the homie. James smash up there, get on him. Well, the problem is, Chuck him a weirdo. So, my nigga wasn't fucking with me. You see what I'm saying? So they got into it, and my nigga was like, man, you better come get this nigga before I do something to him. And I knew James was serious, so I had to come out the house and come get this nigga. You feel me? And then, you feel me, he was, I don't know what he did. He tried to cling on to James, didn't have nothing. And James was just like, nah, nigga, I ain't feeling that shit. You feel me? Period.